when the cancer involves the hilum of the liver, by which I mean where the right and the left hepatic duct join, this is called the hilum, when there is a cancer of gallbladder or of the bile duct and is obstructing the bile flow, it poses a major challenge to endoscopies. The problem is that the obstruction can actually extend into the intrahepatic ducts or ducts within the liver and these patients often require multiple stents. This is a patient who had a hilar block due to a cancer of the gallbladder and he was initially treated with multiple plastic stents and now you'll see in the video the plastic stents have been removed. Now we are recannulating. You can see the wide open bile duct opening and we are using a sphincterotome and we are under fluoroscopic and endoscopic guidance. We are placing a wire. You can see under the fluoroscopy the wire has been placed deep into the right hepatic duct and you'll see that wire we have held it in place and we are using a sphincterotome and placing one more wire into a left system and, and the third wire deep into the right system again. So once we place these three wires side by side, now you can see the first stent is passed over the guide wire and you can see the uh, stent being deployed and you can see the gush of bile which is, uh, uh, which is clearly demonstrated. Now by the side of this stent, you can see the wire going below and we are deploying one more stent by the side of this initial biliary metallic stent. We are pushing one more metal stent and we are confirming its position on fluoroscopy and we are deploying the second biliary stent by the side of the initial uh, metal stent. Now subsequently the third biliary uncovered biliary metallic stent is being deployed under endoscopic and fluoroscopic control and at the end of the procedure you will see all three stents deployed, two in the right system, one in the left system. This gives good endoscopic palliation for these patients with ILR pumps.